More excitement coming on the track with the wheelchair racing, and it's the men's 400 meters T54. And they're away. Concha, Hook, Van Weigel, Garby, Lou, Lou, Tana, and Shu. And it's Shu on the uh, outside in lane eight. It was going very well, and the two Chinese overtaking Rawatana already. Maybe there's been a little bit too much racing. Maybe he needs a few more days to go, but maybe he'll be fighting back in the final half of this race. But it's Lu Yang ahead of Lu Jaming at the moment for China. But Chu is going very well in lane eight also. Con Jen and Hook, you can never ever rule out. Hook the chance to show his YC. Silver Bullet yet again at two. Van Weigel at three. They straighten up. And it's Lu Yang who leads for China. Lu Jen Ming is fighting back. Van Weigel is in third place. That's how it's going to be. second and Van Weigel takes third place so got the medals 46 47 is a new championship record Hook doesn't get a medal he's lost his world title and he's lost his championship record too 46 46 for Lu Yang with Lu Chengming in second place and Van Weigel in third 47.05, Hook was in fourth place in the end, 47.26. But the Chinese dominance within a year of Rio continues. And after all of his heroics of the longer distances this week, and it's always been his best, would have uh, been uh, too much to ask of Rao and Tana in order to produce something here. But look at the way the Lu Chengming in the yellow almost beat his companion very well. No pre-race agreement here. Lu and Lu and Van Weigel the one, two, three. Fantastic work by the Chinese pair there, but you can see Rao and Tana in the background there, struggling home. Who knows, maybe the rerun of that 1500 meter heat when he went through to the final and won that may have taken its toll. Kenny Van Vigel though in third place, but Marcel Hoog down there in fourth place and out of the medals. We don't say that very often, but tonight that's the case.